This creature is a mantis shrimp, also known as a sea mantis. Contrary to its name, the mantis shrimp isn't related to crayfish or shrimp, but is an intriguing creature in its own right. What kind of creature is a mantis shrimp? Today, let's dissect a mantis shrimp. I have here a frozen mantis shrimp that I bought for this experiment. Ta-da! Here's the mantis shrimp. When you extend its limbs, it slightly resembles an insect. Many crustaceans have this insect-like appearance and are often referred to as sea insects. However, among them, the mantis shrimp arguably resembles a large insect the most. Looking at the underside, you'll notice a plethora of legs. Among insects, the mantis shrimp shares the most similarities with the praying mantis. If you extend these limbs, or the raptorial legs, you'll see they closely resemble the front legs of a praying mantis, right? Indeed, the mantis shrimp uses these raptorial legs to hunt, much like a praying mantis. Though they appear similar to crayfish or shrimp, they are not part of the Decapita order, which includes crayfish and shrimp, but belong to the Stomatopida order. Stomatopida is the scientific term for mantis shrimp. Exactly. They are known for their striking punch when hunting prey. The Japanese mantis shrimp is also a member of the Stomatopida order. Stomatopods are categorized into two main types based on their hunting tactics. There are the smashers, who hunt by striking their prey with club-like appendages, and the spearers, who hunt by stabbing or spearing their prey. Mantis shrimp dig burrows in the seabed, hiding and ambushing passing prey with their raptorial legs. Their hunting style varies with the type of raptorial legs they have. For instance, the spear-shaped legs of the Japanese mantis shrimp primarily target soft prey while the ball or club-shaped legs are used to break open hard-shelled prey like shellfish. Pulling out the legs reveals a structure resembling the plastic strand when eating crabs. This is a tendon-like tissue that connects the internal muscles to the outer shell and is crucial for the mantis shrimp's movement. Let's continue observing the mantis shrimp. Upon closer inspection of the mantis body, you'll see two pairs of antennae at the very front, which serve as sensory organs, and below these are the oval-shaped eyes. It's said that arthropods have the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom, but the reason behind the unique eye structure of the mantis shrimp remains a mystery. Wow. Isn't that odd? Now, where is the mouth of the mantis shrimp? I thought it would be here, right under the eyes. But it's actually located further down, between the raptorial legs. Many appendages surround the mouth, similar to those found around the mouth of a crab, assisting in feeding. Inside these appendages are jaw-like structures that chop up the food into small pieces. The food then travels from the mouth through the stomach to the digestive tract in the abdomen. Next, if we look at the mantis shrimp from behind, unlike crayfish and shrimp, the cephalothorax isn't completely covered by the shell, so the rear part of the thorax is exposed. These three pairs of legs on the thorax are used for walking on the seabed. This elongated part at the back of the thorax is the abdomen, and from the side, you can see the five pairs of pleopod swimming legs. The arthropod body is segmented like this, allowing for flexible movement. The telson at the end of the body, along with the caudal appendage, forms the tail fan. The tail fan is a distinctive feature of the Japanese spear lobster, noted for its vibrant colors. This opening on the underside of the tail is the anus of the mantis shrimp. After removing the cephalothorax and leaving only the abdomen, we cut open the carapace. This slightly darker area is the digestive tract of the mantis shrimp. Like shrimp, the mantis shrimp has a digestive tract running along the back, and a nerve tube along the front. And you can see the white tissue around the digestive tract. This is the reproductive organ of the mantis. It's been a while since I've been able to show you a reproductive organ. 
I'll continue to show you the reproductive organs of various creatures. This concludes our dissection of the mantis shrimp. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, employing scientific methods to explore the mysteries of the world.